These pictures show new spacesuits, but not in space just yet. You can only take astronauts to train them in five places on Earth. So Oregon, in my view, would be in the top five. That's Dr. Pascal Lee, director of the NASA Houghton Mars Project. A crew of about 10 people came to central Oregon in August to test this astronaut gear in rugged volcanic terrain. This type of tech has to be tested in an, in an actual realistic field environment. So that's why we came to, to Oregon. Over jagged hills and into rocky caves, the Oregon expeditions near Bend, John Day, and Crater Lake gave astronauts a test run of what terrain is like on the moon. The goal is to make suits safer for lunar missions in the next decade. The upshot is that it works really well. It works beautifully. Highest peak on the rim of the caldera. Oregon has a history of astronaut training. This KGW vault footage from the 60s shows trainees of the Apollo program getting used to volcanic rocks and craters. Should see a man moon landing within this decade. Ivan Smith reporting from Newberry Crater above Polino Lake. Fast forward a few years to 1969. This is the new Apollo helmet. And space experts in the KGW studio explained the gear Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin would wear. Then finally, that fateful moon landing step watched live around the world. Made possible with preparation in Oregon. Back on Earth, Portlanders celebrated. Unbelievable, and it's just marvelous that we've accomplished so much. Thing is, by God, I never saw it in my life. It was as wonderful it was. I never thought it could happen. I jumped up with joy, and I went, yay. Yay, indeed. It was no small feat, and now the dreams are even bigger. New suit technology is expanding possibilities. We were blown away by the quality of all of them. Dr. Lee says by the 2030s, he hopes astronauts can explore Mars using a little Oregon inspiration. We thought this was really fitting. Galen Etlin, KGW News.